Lesson 1.8, Problem Solving Addition Word Problems. We're going to solve some addition word problems and write number sentences for them. Here's our first one. Emma had six blue gems. Her mother gave her seven pink gems. How many gems does Emma have in all? So the first thing we do is we figure out what we need to find. The number of gems Emma had plus the number of gems her mother gave her. And we make a plan to solve this. We can write an addition sentence, we can use counters, and we can circle the important words. So let's circle the important words first. She had six blue gems, that's important. Her mother gave her seven. And how many gems does Emma have in all? In all is important because it's telling us that we need to add them. Now we know that we need to add 6 and 7. We have 6 gems and 7 gems. We have 6 plus 7. We start at the larger number and count on 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, and we write gems. We label it. We make sure we answered the question, 13 gems in all. Yeah, we did. Let's try another one. We're going to write an addition sentence that fits each of these word problems. Two owls are sitting in a tree. Seven more owls land in the tree. How many owls are in the tree? So now we need to circle our important words, but I don't see any numbers, do you? Yeah, they're written as words. They're not numerals. We have two, and we have seven. What other word is important here? The word more. Seven more owls land in the tree. That tells us that we're going to add because seven more than two. We write our equation. We have a two plus a 7. We can start with the 7 and count on 7, 8, 9. And then we label it 9 what? 9 owls. 2 plus 7 equals 9. Let's try another one. A squirrel buries 9 acorns in the front yard and 6 acorns in the backyard. What is the total number of acorns the squirrel buried? Well, we need to circle our important words or numbers. We have a 9, we have a 6, and it says the total number. That's important. That's telling us to add. So we have 9 plus 6. We can use counters or dots even. Start at 9 and count on 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 what? 15 acorns. We have to make sure we label what we found. 15 acorns. Let's try another one. Five mice are eating cheese. Eight mice join them. How many mice are eating the cheese? Circle our important information, our important numbers and words. We have five and eight. And do you see some other important words? It says how many, but the important word here is join. That means there were more. We had five and we're joining eight. That means we're adding. So we have five plus 8. We can use counters or our fingers. We start at the 8 and count on 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have to remember to label 13 what? Well, we were looking for how many mice are eating the cheese. So we have 13 mice. Let's try another one. Seven cars parked in a parking lot. Five more cars parked. 
How many cars are in the parking lot in all? Let's circle our important information. We have a 7, we have a 5, and it says 5 more. That means we're adding 5 more to the 7. And it says in all. That tells us it's adding. So we have two clue words, more and in all, that tell us we're adding. We're going to add 7 plus 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 what? Well, how many cars are in the parking lot in all? So we have 12 cars. We make sure we label it. Okay, let's try another one. Bob went fishing. He caught seven fish in the morning and six fish in the evening. What is the total number of fish Bob caught? So let's circle our important words. He caught seven in the morning, six in the evening, and it's asking us for a total number. That tells me that we need to total the 7 and the 6. That means we're going to add 7 plus 6. We can use counters if we need them. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And what's our label? Do you know? 13 what? 13 fish. Let's try another one. Tala had three pencils. Her father gave her nine more. How many pencils does Tala have now? So let's circle our important information. She had three. Her father gave her nine more. Do you see any more important words? It's asking how many, but it says her father gave her nine more. That means we have nine more than three. We have three plus nine. We can start at the nine and count on nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 what? We need to label it. 12 pencils. So when you're doing word problems and writing addition sentences, Try circling the important information and looking for clue words like more, total number, join, in all, and that'll help you know if it's an addition sentence. Remember to label them, okay? You can use counters, but most importantly, try circling those important words of information. I'll see you next video. Keep trying. Bye.